Hi everybody, Dan P here of Crimson Wolves and today we're doing a tutorial on tasks. Tasks are really pretty simple to make when you get the hang of them so I'm just going to give you the easy solution to make them. First thing you do is make your unit, you go to modules, tasks, create task, down intel sorry, in, go to intel, create task, right and then you've got to name your task, this, is, this has got to be um, it is unique so you can't have the same number twice so for the sake of this I'm just going to call it task 1 and then the title is use toilet and then take a leak nothing in the marker don't worry about the marker and leave grouped as synchronized as it is create that so that's got that then it's set task then you've got to go to modules set task state intel Set task state, which has succeeded. So that's succeeded, click to succeeded. And now you've got to make your trigger. So your trigger is this. Put your trigger down. For the sake of this, I've put it as a 0 0.7 to 0 0.7. You can put it in whichever area you like. So the the axis of the these will determine how big the trigger is. Um, activation by blue 4, I, I want to activate it and I'm, pardon me, I want to be present at the time the condition can be left as it is and it wants to be set off once so it's set off once this is the toilet box I've put down so when I enter the perimeter of the toilet the trigger will set and the task will be com completed you can also add set task destinations in uh, if you just click set task destination module position it's supposed to go wherever this goes but because this game is an alpha version there are some glitches with the tasks and it doesn't seem to work so I put it there and it'll somehow spawn over there you'll see when we get in the game so it doesn't really matter where I put it at the moment so we'll just try that out So we're in. Don't mind him, by the way. So, the task is to go up to the toilet, take a leap, open the door. Should say task accomplished. Task accomplished. Use the toilet. Okay, you're probably wondering why it says new task assigned. Don't be alarmed by that. That's just something I've put in. So, task complete. Go to the toilet. Okay. Now, if you want to link objectives together, this is where I got into the soldier bit now. So what you do is you create a new task. Again, this is unique, so task two. For the sake of this video, kill soldier. Description, shoot him. Task destination, again, module position doesn't really matter. Set task state, succeeded. Trigger, right, the trigger is present. It doesn't really matter about this stuff. It doesn't matter about the axis either because you're shooting a target. All that matters is this bit which is an uh, exclamation mark, a live space soldier. And the soldier is what I've named the guy, what I'm going to name the guy. So if I name this guy soldier, that will link with the trigger. And when I when I kill the soldier, the trigger will be activated. It will know, it will understood that I've killed him and the, and the task will complete. I don't know why alive means dead, but that's what happens. So if you want to kill somebody, you've got to do, you've got to put in exclamation mark, alive, space, whatever you've named the person you want to be the task to kill be, if, it's sent, if you know what I mean in a sense. So say for example, it's an officer, you, you, you name the officer, officer one, you put alive, space, officer one, and then leave all this blank. Also, something else I forgot to mention is you've got to synchronize the trigger to the state, to the task, set the destination, link that in with the task as well, link the, link the task back to the player. Same here. So both tasks are linked to the player, but when you're linking, when you're having a second task linked in, you link the trigger with the task as well. So task to task, task to task, trigger to task. So that this task will then be as it is 
the next task ahead of this will the trigger will be activated to that task and then the task will be activated to the player and so on and so forth so now we should go in and now you should see what happens is that basically when go to the toilet task complete kill the soldier task complete I know I might have made it seem a bit difficult than it already is, but it's if you just follow what I've the steps I've made on the videos, there should be no problems. So I'll run up to the toilet, take a leak, toilet use toilet, task accomplished. I don't know why he's running away, but I'll just kill him. New task assigned, kill soldier. The guy's name's called Soldier. Task accomplished, kill soldier. He's dead. So that's the basic use of tasks. You can use them to any sort of degree you want, whether it's to um, you know kill other people, you know move to certain objectives. You can use that. If it's to kill, like if you want an officer sort of thing, you can use that. What I've just used and put in officers and stuff like that. You can, the opportunities are endless, really. But this is just a basic tutorial on how to use them. So uh, I hope it's been you know not. I hope it's been okay for you this whole video, and I hope you can you know use it to your advantage. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.